Hello everyone. So today's topic will be about Python, and the subtopic is string properties and methods. So I think you all uh, you all know the word is string. String are sequence of characters, and string are basically immutable immutable in characters. Means string are basic they are uh, they are non non immutable or so what is immutability? So immutability means you cannot change or modify the string. So suppose there is so suppose there is a name name. So there is a name equals to Python. You you have assigned the Python in one variable. So if you want to change the p to something other letter, so you can't do that. So uh, so string uh, so string is basically immutable. Uh, that uh, which means you can't change or you can't modify. I'm showing it to you. Open Python 3 from Linux or some from Windows anything and suppose name equals to Python P Y T H O N. So if you if so if you print name what will uh, what will provide it will pro it will give you it will return the result as Python. So suppose you, yeah you want to change uh, so suppose you want to change the name to something else uh, name uh, zero means that at the zero index there is p uh, you want to change to s it will it is type error a string does not support item assignment so basically this is the prop uh, so this is the properties of string which means a string uh, string is immutable that is you cannot change or modify the string once you have assigned it to something to some variable so in that case uh, uh, what do you have to do you have to assign this something into the other other or uh, in no other variable. Suppose this is a name. I am taking. We are assigning name two equals to. Uh, suppose you want to change uh, the p for the first letter. That means the first letter is in zeroth index. The index of the first letter is zero, and the rest of the thing is one, two, three. It doesn't matter. Uh, assign is. You have to do like this. Name two equals to name. And then one means we we, we will change the zero, and so we will not take the index of the first position. We will take the rest of the variable that is from the second index that is one up to rest, and we will assign it to name two. So name two has this, uh, and now what will I do? And uh, we want to change p to s. So that means s plus name two. It is giving s y t h o n. So in this case you can uh, in this case you can change the uh, change or modify the string uh, because uh, this is uh, because uh, because string is immutable uh, means you cannot change uh, if you want to change then you have to reassign this into some other uh, uh, some other some other variable and then you have to assign and then you have to assign this but uh, once you reassigned you cannot change the name to also uh, you if you want to change the name to now suppose name to zero name to zero if you want to again change this to p you can do that it will give you error because string does not support so in that case, uh, what do we have to do? We have to assign this whole variable into another third variable, and we have to assign this from here only, from up to uh, uh, up to the second position. From the second position, that means from one to up to rest. Rest that. In that case, what you have to do? Name uh, name three equals to name two, the uh, one up to whole. Yeah, and then if you print name three, sorry. And then if you print name three, it was given T H O N. There is uh, nothing else. And then what what you can do? You can uh, you can do this name P plus name three. It is it is returning it is returning Python. So in the in uh, in that case you can in that case you can do like this. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what do, uh, what do you have to do. So the, the so this is the proper. So this is the properties of the string uh, immutability. And there is something else also. Suppose you if you have assigned the letter equals to Z. Z is there. Suppose you want to print the print the Z ten times. Letter into ten. It will print the Z uh, ten times. If you do letter into twenty, 
it will print the z 20 times so uh, you are assigning one letter to a variable and then if you print then if you multiply the variable with the with any numeric digit to say 20 30 40 10 it will print the letters up to that time what you are multiplying so if you are multiplying with 10 it will print the letter 10 times if you are multiplying with 20 it will print the result 20 times so that is the main so that is the main thing of a string and and suppose uh, this is the this is the problem you can face 2 plus 3 is gives 5 okay so suppose 2 and plus 3 so if you so if you print this what will you uh, what will you get it will not print 5 it will provide 23 why because 2 plus 3 is a numeric value means 2 is an integer 3 is an integer so they are adding both so they are adding and they are returning the result 5 2 is a new 2 is an integer 3 is an integer also but in this case you are you are applying a quotation before and after the uh, before and after the number means you are placing the number inside an quotation and you are also placing 3 inside an quotation so that is why uh, they they that is why they are not adding in itself they are concatenating concatenate means uh, you have you can add the two variables side by side in simple language suppose if a suppose a plus b Sorry, a plus b it will it will give a b that means they are concatenating means they are adding side by side a plus b basically a plus b doesn't have any meaning that's why they will give a name error but if you want to uh, get the result a, a plus b it will provide you a b these are the, these are the things of string concatenation so 2 plus 3 will provide you 5 and if you pl place the 2 in, inside an quotation it will concatenate itself and it will return the result as 23 so this is uh, so these are the so these are the uh, string so these are the function of the string now uh, one thing suppose x equals to hello world so then x plus x plus beautiful what will present? It will it will give hello world beautiful. They are uh, and it, uh, they will concatenate uh, concatenate with each other. There is uh, there is uh, not any space. That is why if you if you provide hello world beautiful. So these are the basic uh, properties and function uh, methods of the string. String works like this way. Uh, string is immu immutable. That is why you can't change or modify the string. Uh, so if you if you multiply a uh, string assigned to a variable with that variable into some numeric digit it will print the result up to that time of the number you are multiplying if you add 2 plus 3 inside an quotation it will it will directly give the resu result 2 3 it will concatenate with itself this is the concatenation property and uh, basically uh, there, there is one another thing if you if you want to add a plus b uh, uh, so th it will return a b and in that case suppose if you are adding a equals to 5 and b equals to 10 and if you now if you now add a plus b it will it will obviously return the result 15 and if you do like this a plus b it will it will give the result a b because a because if you type if you type check the it is in class in but if you uh, integer value that is why it is returning 15 but in this case it is it is not an integer it is a string value because it is inside an quotation that is why it is uh, running the result as ab so these are the basic functions of the string i hope you will uh, like this uh, video of the string thank you for watching the video